So we got Maggie when uh, we had been married for maybe eight months or so. Maggie is a puppy, was the cutest puppy in the world. When we met her, she absolutely leapt out to meet us. Uh, she's just so ready to play and cuddle. We always called her our little rock star. Uh, we would go on walks with her and she would find the biggest stick that she could and carry it with her for the entire walk. And all the neighbors and people driving by would stop and point and laugh at our little rock star with her little stick. So Maggie's favorite toy is one of her first toys that we gave her as a puppy. It's a little pink Kong and Maggie just loves it. We tried to replace it because it's in really bad shape, but she won't take any other Kong. She has to have her Kong. She always wants to cuddle. She always wants to be right in the thick of everything. And she's always been like that from day one. So when Maggie was about a year old, uh, we decided we really wanted to have another dog. And part of that is just because, you know, every time we had to go to work, I felt so guilty that Maggie was going to be by herself. And so I decided I really wanted to get a dog, not just for us, but a dog for Maggie to be friends with, a sister for Maggie. And we found Sophie. And Sophie is um, complete opposite of Maggie. And when I met her, I knew that. Sophie doesn't want to be in the middle of everything. She wants to be right there, near, watching, looking. And then she wants to go off to the sidelines, explore. Um, she wants to be outside. If my husband or I say to the other, hey, where, where's Sophie? The answer is usually, oh, she's out meditating. She's such a weird dog. She looks like a puppy. She's huge. And she's very oddly serious, right? Yeah, she loves to hunt and chase things, but she also just wants to sit outside in a cool, breezy day and just stare at it all. Maggie is my baby. She's a human. Sophie's my baby, too. She's a dog. <laughs> uh, they have always been sort of like sisters more than anything else. They're not best friends. They're sisters. They always look for each other. They're always ready to get into mischief together. On a quiet afternoon, you will almost always find my two dogs sitting on the couch next to each other, staring out the window, and it's always in the same places. I know, yes, people always say, oh, you think you love your dogs until you have kids. No, I have a kid, and I love her unconditionally, and she is my girl, and they are too. And they are my three doctors. I wondered what Sophie would be like when we brought our little girl home. And I could not have been more wrong. Sophie was awesome with her. She just came by and sniffed and wagged her tail and was as very accepting, ready for the next little sister to join the crew. Um, we were positive Maggie was going to be best friends with our daughter just because she's such a little human. Turned out Maggie was very depressed that we had another daughter. <laughs> and a couple of days in, she actually wasn't even eating. So we called the vet and they said, well, just include her, just include her. And so we made a new pact. Every time I nursed my human daughter, Maggie had to be there to help me. And they're best friends. They love each other. Maggie is not just content though to watch Eleanor. She wants to play with Eleanor and she wants to be pet when we play with Eleanor as well. There's absolutely nothing better than finding a dog that you can just love.